a baker is from Ghana, same place as Uma Nelson comes from. Ghana's fight with great pride, they're great warriors, and this is going to be a hell of a fight. But Guillermo Rigando is an extraordinarily talented fighter. And you can see down the road uh, that one of the great events in the history of boxing is possible. A fight one day uh, between a two-time gold medalist, Guillermo Rigando, and another two-time gold medalist, Vasil Lomachenko. That would be the first time in professional boxing that anything like that ever, ever happened. And I think it will be worldwide a major, major event. But first, these guys have business to do. Lomachenko on March 1st, uh, on HBO, has to beat Salido. Guillermo Rigando has to beat Igbeko and some others down the road before we make what is, to my mind, a super and major historical fight. So before I call Guillermo to the microphone, I'd like to introduce his manager, Gary Hyde. Gary? Hi, I would like to thank Top Rank and Kariba, our promoters, and of course uh, HBO for making this fight happen. Um, I would like to thank um, Pedro Diaz and Rigando's team, Yuel Casamayor and Raymond Garbe for the marvellous job they've done in, in getting Rigo prepared for this fight. And I would also like to thank Joseph Abeko for being the only 122 pounder brave enough to take this fight. For, for those of you who don't know, Rigo is a two-time Olympic gold medalist, he's a two-time world champion, and he's a 260 amateur contest, which has six defeats. As a professional, his record stands at 12 and 0. Six of those fights have been world championship fights, and in his ninth fight, he was crowned WBA world champion. In his 12th fight, he unified the titles, the WBA and WBO titles, by beating Nonita Donair, in what was a classic performance, and we are very proud of Rigor to, to, to pick up those belts. He is also the, the WBA, WBO, and Ring, or Ring Magazine champion. Um, I would also like to say that Rigor, though, will fight anybody from 118 to 122 to 126, even as far as 130. Lomachenko, Salida, Donair, whoever you want, will take on any one of them. Thank you very much. These Irish managers are really brave. <laughs> I, I want to stop for a story now. Listen, because Gary mentioned uh, he wanted to thank Garbe and uh, uh, Casamayo. I want to tell you a story. Years ago, uh, Garbe was a member of the Cuban Olympic team. And we got word that they were training in Mexico. And we got word that Garbe had skipped out of the camp. And I got my friend Fernando Beltran, and we sneaked him to Tijuana. And we made arrangements to get him over the border. <laughs> and, and, and no, and, 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 and with the, with the uh, uh, cooperation of the uh, immigration service because he was claiming defective status asylum. And then Fernando says, but there's another little guy with him. And we hadn't recruited the other little guy, but that was Casamayor. So we ended up with Garbe and Casamayor. We ultimately brought him to Las Vegas and put him up at the Bally Hotel, took him to baseball games, and one morning they had both disappeared. Disappeared, so we thought Castro had sent somebody down <laughs> to, to, to capture them. I mean, but it wasn't Castro, it was Louis de Cubis. <laughs> he had sent his people in, he came in, and they escaped from the hotel, the Ballet Hotel, and they started fighting for uh, Louis and I think main events, which, uh, and we worked out a compromise. But I'll never forget that story. I'll never forget that story. We had the police 
in Las Vegas looking for these guys, and we thought we really had a big international incident that the Cubans had sent in people to bring them back to Cuba. Speaking of Cubans, I'd like to introduce the president of Caribe Promotions, who co-promotes Guillermo Rigando with us. Please welcome Boris Asensibia. Boris. Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everybody. Primeramente quiero darle las gracias a Guillermo Rigondeado por hacer posible que un cubano vuelva al al a las peleas estelares de HBO. I would like to thank first Guillermo Rigondeau, you know, for him being who he is, being a super world champion and being able to have a a Cuban fighter at that level and being showcased in a major network as HBO. Quiero darle las gracias a Beco que ha aceptado la pelea y realmente eh, aceptamos el respeto que, que nos ha demostrado hacia nuestro boxeador y es mutuo ese respeto hacia él también, hacia su equipo de trabajo. We would like to thank Abeco and his team for taking this fight. We respect him as well, as he's mentioned that you respect us. We know he's a hard worker and he's coming to fight. Quiero darle las gracias a Torran, a todo su colectivo de trabajo que me está enseñando, puesto que llevo cuatro años en este negocio, a ser más profesional y a cumplir más con nuestro deber de llevar este deporte hacia otro nivel. I would like to thank personally Todd Brank and the whole team. Uh, you know, it's been four years that we've been on the road working and developing. And I'm still in the, you know, learning a whole lot in, in, in this business. And I want to thank you for that. Quiero darle las gracias a todos los comentaristas, a toda la prensa, que después de la pelea de Nonito nos han apoyado, principalmente a los comentaristas de HBO, que tuvimos un apoyo especial de ellos. No sin antes decirle a, a uno de sus directivos, no sabemos su nombre, no nos interesa, que después de ese comentario que hizo de Guillermo Rigondeado, nuestro boxeador, y que no solamente es nuestro, sino es del público, queremos decirle que gracias también, porque gracias a ese comentario, hoy tenemos un público que nos apoya más. I would like to personally thank on behalf of our team, all the press, all the media uh, out there, as well as after the fight with the Donaire fight, uh, all the press and the media, especially HBO commentators that you know support us and you know talk great about Rigondeau. Uh, I know there were some mishaps, you know, regarding after the fight, uh, in the process of us fighting again, you know, in the last seven months, about you know comment that was made by uh, somebody on HBO regarding you know Rigondeau's performance, etc. Uh, and you know we, we we thank you, all the press and media as well, for supporting us because he's not only our fighter, he's the fans' fighter. And you know, come Saturday night, you know, he's gonna show the world. He's a real world champion and he's here to stay. Le voy a resumir una historia de Guillermo Rigondeado. Este boxeador, no solamente después de ser dos veces campeón olímpico en Cuba, estuvo sancionado y separado del deporte de por vida, sino arriesgó su vida para llegar aquí en el medio del mar, como millones de cubanos que han muerto en el medio del mar. Y, y es un acto eh, que representa a 11 millones de cubanos dentro de Cuba y fuera de Cuba. Y quiero que sepan que esa historia es verídica y gracias a Dios hoy está aquí cumpliendo su sueño. I want everybody to know a little a little story I want to share with all you guys. You know, Reagan Down not only being a two-time Cuban Gold Olympic champion and after having a situation in Cuba uh, trying to defect, he was sanctioned by the Cuban regime and not allowed to fight again. And he risked his life, you know, on a raft, boat, whatever you want to call it, to come to America and to have freedom and, to, and be able to fight. And I want everybody to know that, you know, a lot of these Cubans, a lot of these fighters, you know, that come abroad from Cuba, they sacrifice their life for a better future. And it's a lot of hard work and dedication, so it hasn't been easy. Gracias a tu, gracias a Peter Nelson por todo el apoyo, y vamos a demostrar que vamos a mejorar y vamos a ser mejor en este deporte. I want to thank everybody once again. I want to thank personally Peter Nelson from HBO that we're going to get better. Come Saturday night, it's going to be a better fight. And we're going to get better as fights come along. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Boris. And that's a really great point that he made. Every time you see a Cuban fighter fighting in the United States, they all have a story, a story of bravery, how they defected from a regime 
that didn't allow them really to become professionals, that was restricted their lives, to come to a place like the United States to pursue uh, their careers. So each of them has a remarkable story of escape and building a new life uh, in this country, and some even uh, went to Europe uh, and built new lives in Europe. So we have to realize the great courage that that takes. Guillermo Rigondeau has showed, as Boris said, showed that courage. Uh, Two-time Olympic champion, he was the pride of Cuba, left Cuba to, uh, to pursue a career in the United States. Uh, he has shown as a professional that he's as good, if not better, than he was in the amateurs, and he's truly one of the great fighters around today. Please welcome the champion, uh, the super bantamweight champion, Guillermo Rigondeau. Buena. Eh, gracias a todos por venir. Eh, Thank you all for coming. Mi nombre es Guillermo. Eh, yo soy una persona que no me gusta hablar tanto. Gracias a HBO. I'm not a lot of a person that likes to be in front of cameras and talk a lot. Bueno, para darme otra oportunidad más. For giving us another opportunity, giving me another opportunity to get in the ring. Muy bueno, prácticamente casi ya todo está terminado. No hay tantas cosas que decir y prácticamente ya lo que queda el pesaje y la pelea el sábado. Basically, everything has been set. Training camp was great, and the fight Saturday, and I'm ready to go. Bueno, un compañero mío que gracias a Dios no ha podido pelear más, que tuvo conmigo también la buena y las malas, eh, participó en varias competencias conmigo también, que está por allá también, estuvo en la preselección nacional, Jordani de España. A friend of mine that was with me on the national team and hasn't been able to fight anymore, Jordani de España, that's here present today. Bueno, está aquí para apoyarme el 100%, y bueno, estamos aquí, ya no hay tantas cosas que decir, a pelear. And he's here to support me, and uh, I'm going to put on a great show, and I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to fight. Nice. Yeah.